Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll discuss about um, of Nama Prüfung from from Kaiserslautern from 2007. And okay, let's do this. So now question number 12, we got a trigonometric curve here. So we have to define which function belongs to this curve. The idea is to drag this curve one step down by subtracting minus one from this function. Yeah, here you'll get, for example, uh, sine two x. So what happened if you um, pull this curve one step down, you'll get a curve which looks somewhat like this. So now it's easier to understand. It's It looks like our standard sine function, but it isn't. The standard sine function gonna look like this. Okay, sorry, it's only still here. So now the very important parameter here is the period. Period is from zero to zero or from one to one. Look at the blue line. The period is from here to here. And it's approximately 1.57. Okay, from here to here. Now look at the orange line. The period is from here. To here and it's 3.14 okay the rules say that if the period is doubled then the function is gonna be the sine function is gonna be y is equal to sine half x and if the period is half time tighter, so half time tighter, the sine function is going to be doubled here in the bracket. So it's reversed, okay? Same if you have, for example, if the period is um, three times bigger or longer you'll have y is equal to sine 1 over 3x so this blue curve is y equal to sine 2x and the orange one is y is equal to sine x why is it 2x you can check if you put this point, this x point, 1.57, okay? 1.57, it's equal to phi, phi over 2. Now you put this in this function, and the function is going to be sine 2 times phi over 2, and it's equal to sine phi it's zero so we have proven that this point at x is equal to 1.57 is gonna be zero okay and it means this one is sine 2x plus one you bring it one step up back again okay so question number 11, now we have a parabolic curve or quadratic function. So the general form is ax squared plus bx plus c or y is equal to a times x minus the first root of your 
function times x minus the second root of your function. So what is x1 and x2 here? You can see x1 is minus 1 and x2 is 3. It's our roots. And um, c is the y-intercept, y-axis intercept. And in this case, c is equal to approximately uh, 1.5. Okay, and look at this very cool formula. First root times second root is equal to c over a. And first root plus second root is equal to minus b over a. Okay, let's apply this. So you have x1 times x2 is minus 3. Okay, let me write it more detail. Minus 1 times 3 is equal to um, 1.5 over a. So a is equal to 1.5 over minus 3 and it's minus half. So the second one, x1 plus x2 is equal to minus b over minus half. So your minus b is equal to um, 1. So b is equal to minus 1. Okay, actually you just need to find a here. Because you can put your a uh, directly in here. And we know already our x1 and x2. So it's um, either this one or this one or this one. But since our a is minus half, and the correct answer is b. Okay. The next one is vector. So we have to calculate the scalar product a times b. So let's look first um, the vector a. Here we have two dimensional vector in x and y axis. So you have to define your a. Look from here, it goes to the right one step and you go, you go up there three steps. So it means it's one, three. And your b vector, look, you go from here two times to the right and one time downward. So here your b vector is to minus one. And the scalar product is very easy. It's just paired like this. So one times two plus uh, th three times minus one and you have two plus minus three and it's minus one. Okay, so the next question number 19 uh, is how to derive this function. So let's take a look at this function. So you have two terms. The first term is um, 1 over 5 times x to the power of 4. So if you derive this one, it's going to be 4 over 5 x to the power of 3. And the second term, you have 2 cos 3x 
and you can apply your product role product role says for example this one is u okay and this one is v so um, the formula is u prime times v plus v prime times u so how to apply this now u prime is zero okay because the derivative of two is zero zero times v okay, it's it makes zero plus now um the derivative of cos is minus sine minus sine 3x okay times u and our u is 2 but don't forget we have also the so-called chain rule because here in bracket we have 3x so we need to multiply this with the derivative of what in the bracket so 3x the derivative of 3x is 3 so times 3 so we have um, 4 over 5 x cubic minus 6 sin 3x okay so it's d 